I didn't know it when I was young, but it turns out I'm a serial entrepreneur. For my whole life, I was ping-ponging in between the worlds of science and art, and for the most part, you have to make a choice. So, if you don't see the world that you want, you have to build it, and that's what I did. I thought Beakerhead would be a place where you wouldn't have to choose. You know, the commitment to the community was, was to meet people where they live. And I, come, I have a communications background, and I know full well that when you say, who is your audience, the answer, everyone, usually means that you haven't given it enough thought. But we, we meant everyone. And, and that was part of the commitment. Everybody is, is going to find a door or window that speaks to them. On the opening night, we did this show called The Tremendous and Curious World of Beakerhead. At the finale, the very end, Chris Hadfield had just returned from the International Space Station. He took to the stage and sang the David Bowie song that had been heard by millions. At the same time, we had these white balloons erupting over the audience. We had these robotic uh, penguins flying through the air. And the whole place rose to their feet in a standing ovation. And I was just ecstatic. It was a moment where it really visibly culminated. Every five to eight years, and I know this about myself, um, I look for a new challenge. And it was time for a new challenge. Beakerhead was up and running. We'd proven the concept. Um, the creativity that is involved in science, and especially in communicating science, is massive. So I was really excited about the opportunity to come to Spark and be able to apply that and think about that 365 days a year. So I'm really excited about having a, you know, a venue and a giant team where we can experiment every day.